Hello and welcome back to Renegade Gamer's channel. I am the Renegade Gamer and we're playing Valkyria Chronicles 4. Blind. <coughs> the post game. Yay. Um, so let's see. Uh, in our last episode, we finished up all the hard, or I guess it was the uh, challenging skirmishes. So now we're going back into what we've opened up. Um, so we're going to do the squad story, Reluctant Solitude. And we're going to start it with the socially stunted. It looks like this is a... Uh... Oh shit, what was her name? Loof, I think? And then uh, the Grenadier we also opened up. So anyway, let's get this started. Hey, uh, Loof? There's uh, something I wanted to ask you. Then stop dancing around it, idiot. Get to the point. N never mind. It's nothing. S sorry to bother you. Wow, a little bit of cold there, aren't you, girl? Luth, was that guy just crying? <sighs> Damn it, I've done it again. Every time I try talking to someone new, it comes out all wrong. I was only trying to ask, how may I help you? Ugh, beat. Another day, another ducat. You know, I have met people before like that, that they just have, they can't, they insult you not meaning to, basically. <laughs> or scare the shit out of you not meaning to. Then take a dirt nap, maggot. Oh crap, oh, I'm sorry, Lou. please don't hurt me. I meant to say, you should get some rest. Something's getting lost in translation. Why don't you try using kinder words? I can't. And I know exactly why. I skipped a few grades to graduate from Naval Academy early. While kids my age were making friends, I was in boot camp. Ah. So I never got used to small talk, especially with men. I get all tensed up and the insults just come flying out. Is that why you talk like a drill sergeant? <coughs> yeah, she sounds like one. Now that you mention it, there was this one instructor. Son of a bitch, swore like a sailor. I must have picked up his cursing as a defense mechanism. On one hand, I do admire your assertiveness. On the other, it's pushing people away. But you can talk to me just fine. Maybe you only need to break out of your shell. Luf, I just had the best idea. You remind me of an old friend. The two of you should chat. Practice does make perfect. All right, set us up. All right, we got a date going on. Will do. Oh, perfect timing. Ben, can I have a moment? What? I'd like to introduce you to someone. This is Ben Smith. You might know him as Stahlschrott. Ben, this is Luf. She's the ship's radar operator. Excuse me, Marie. I have a question for you. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back later. Jeez! <laughs> what the heck's going on over there? I'm scared to even ask. If you got something to say, shit for brains, then say it. Hello there, would you care to join us on this fine day? <laughs> anyway, what the hell's wrong with your body? <laughs> Why are you busted? It's made of metal, okay. <laughs> He's not saying anything. What am I supposed to do? Is this about my next mission? No, I just wanted you and Luf to get to know each other. Then it's a waste of my time. I'm here to give my life in battle, not make friends. Oh, Ben. I don't even know you anymore. 
Sounds like you and that walking trash can go way back. Before I became the radio operator, he and I were squad mates. You've been on the ship's crew for a while now. Just how old are you? Back then, he was just a man of flesh and blood. A passionate soul with a kind heart. She completely dodged the question. Of course! <laughs> but every time he got wounded in battle, another piece of him was replaced by cold, unfeeling metal. The doctors say his loss of emotion was caused by repeated head injuries. But I think he has survivor's guilt. He's seen so many of his friends die. He's become more machine than man. So he's the Terminator. So you want Stallshrot to feel human again? Yes. I thought talking to someone else with people problems might help him open up. Yeah, maybe. Yet that didn't work either. Hmm. I'll give that hunk of junk another shot. But next time, we'll let our guns do the talking. Uh, you're a grenadier, says he. <laughs> so I guess it's just the two of them. Interesting. These usually come in sets of three, so it's just kind of odd. All right, scrap metal jacket. Not to be confused with full metal jacket. Let's review the mission info, shall we? All right, what have we got here? <coughs> we'll need to take out the Imperial forces hiding around an island on a crystal sea. So this is the mission. This looks like the same mission with Raz. Kind of. A part of it, anyway. Due to the treacherous terrain, however, you won't be able to deploy any tanks. Okay, so either he or she dies. Okay, so basic stuff. Alright, so... Actually, I need to check something real fast. Uh, I don't remember what I have them equipped with. You better keep up. Lock and load. And I can't really check from here. All right, well, whatever. We'll just go into this. If we That's die, we die. Everything you need to know. Best of luck, squaddy. Remember, Luke, when you talk to him, try to be polite. Use kind words, got it? I'm not a child, Marie. I heard you the first time. Sorry. I wish you the best of luck on the mission and with Dalshra. All right, just like she said, kind words. Listen up, you rusty bucket of bolts. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's your lucky day. You get to help me on the next mission. Just try not to get in my way, Tin Man. Okay. That was polite. I think. We gotta work on this a little more. <laughs> okay, so Grenadier is up ahead. What do I have you equipped with? That's my question. Okay, that's good. What are you equipped with? No, no. Alright, so yeah, okay. I got one equipped for tank fire, one equipped for uh, manpower. That's fine. Too slow. Are we ever going to get out of this damn wind? Gotcha. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Moving <coughs> <coughs> at 
Alright. TV slow. Pretty good. <clears throat> Got a hot bowl of soup waiting for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You never know where the enemy's lurking. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna call an engineer out. For victory. Move kind of very, very slowly here. All right, so found them. what do we find? What you find, Mer Minerva? Please assist the vanguard. Okay, it's a trooper, huh? There. Uh -oh. oh shit! Okay, yeah. Uh, that's the thing. Bring you up. We can outlast them in this cold. Take care not to slip on the fresh ball of snow. The enemy has begun their counter. Fuck. Sniper Paragon, where is he? Where are you? A little bit farther back than I can get. You're being targeted. Uh. Um. Well, I could try to hit him with this. Maybe? They're in range. Yeah, we can get that. Take a dirt nap. That was wonderful. Another job well done. All right, so she's out, and uh, we can't go behind. Enough talk. Maybe we can get the the machine the uh, machine gunner out of the way. Hopefully. Don't give them a chance to attack. Defense. Uh, I can't find him. You can warm up. I can't find him. <clears throat> All right, that's fine. Um, crap. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was probably going to do that.
All right, so try not to get killed. Stay alert. Inattention costs lives. Ah, out of my range. Hi! Goodbye! That was wonderful! Another job well done! Alright, Rebecca. You are going to be our guinea pig. Alright, so we can see him. Alright, got him out of the way. Target destroyed. Good work. Over there. Stall shroud. What a stupid nickname. It means scrap metal, doesn't it? Hmm. Picked it up from an old friend. Whenever I lost another limb, say, Scrap Metal Man, you're gonna be more nuts and bolts than flesh and blood. Was that supposed to make you feel better? Or was he being sarcastic? Who knows? Either way, what kind of dipshit calls himself Scrap Metal? This dipshit. I should have been killed in action years ago, but the docks kept putting me back together again. Ask for it. So I keep fighting, hoping the next time I die, it'll stick. Metal turns to scrap. Scrap turns to rust. No one is sad when this happens. Hmm. Uh, uh, no, that's not true. Everyone would be sad to lose you. Like, Marie and me and... It's not just luck that kept you alive all these years. You wouldn't be here if you didn't have the will to live. There must be someone you still want to protect. What are you... Get down! My prosthetic got hit, but it's fine. Won't affect my combat prowess. You, you saved my life. Thank you. No problem. But we still got company. Come with me if you want to survive. I wish they would have said, come with me if you want to live. But we'll take that too. That works. Holy shit, what the hell hit me? Must be a sniper. It is, okay. What are you doing? I'm saving your ass. Enemy spotted. Shut them down. All right, so one guy over there. Okay, so got a couple of things we're gonna take out. You know, I guess there isn't really a reason to use Minerva or Raz up here unless there's a Ace up here somewhere. Which there very might well be. You're being targeted. Out of my sight. There we go. Party's over. They're good. Keep firing! 
That yeah, looks like he may be under a structure of some sort. He is. Damn it. All right. Trooper, huh? Yeah, and we need over where the sniper is. Sorry, your butts are freezing off. All right. Please confirm the enemy's position. There. Found them. All troops, please report your status. Moving out. All right, so he's dead. Federation officer, I will not fall here. I guess I could just go ahead and end everything else up here. You're being targeted. All right, so nobody is over here. Okay. Hmm. A scout. All right. Don't get cocky. Time to take out the trash. Right, come here a second. Is that all you got? Please be careful. Push them back. Too slow. There we are. All right. I see. And we're going to position you right here. Oh, there is somebody still down there. And they're behind a bunch of barricades, it looks like. Got this. Go take out this last guy. Why not? <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, it's a grenadier. Okay. Alright, so we now know his position. Are you the ace? You are. Pick up the pace. Right, hang tight, sir. Too slow. Damn it. It's missed. Fall back. Gotcha. Oh shit. Finding distance. Okay, yeah, that's that's a thing. <laughs> Moving up. All right, well, let's take out these assholes. Too slow. Great job! I knew you had it in you. <laughs> She's out, so I need Rebecca to come over here. Try not to get killed. And we're going to take out him. Suck it up. 
Of course you dodged. Why wouldn't you? Dodge this, asshole. Can't see Acolyte is down. Well All right, so. Damn it, the comms are acting up. Return fire! Here you go. Keep track of the enemy's location. All right. And I cannot quite see them. I got this. I made a promise, and I ain't about to break it. All right, this is what we're going to do. Next round, I know exactly how we're going to do it. We're going to move Minerva over here so we got a clear view of where they are. And then we're going to knock them out with the Grenadier and then move Rebecca up. Actually, I might be able to see where they are with uh, Raz. Okay, yeah, Raz could have did it. No, well, whatever. We can work with that. We can work with that. All right, so. All set. You're being targeted. Can I get a second opinion? Woohoo! Yeah. Dead on arrival. That's what I'm talking about, there, girl. Alright, so can I see both of them up there? I can see at least one. That may be all I need to be able to see. Pick up the pace. Too slow. Not quite all the way. No, it's a scout, I think. Moving up. Go ahead and kill him, too. Too slow. All right, Rebecca. Oh, well, I guess Luf could try it. She's still got movement. Those footprints are the enemies. Yeah, she got, she's got this. All right, so that was fun. Falling apart. I'm fine. 
We need to get you back safe. Can it, Tin Man? I'm calling a medic. We have one on premise. Well, an engineer. Hey, ranked. We'll take the A. You probably could pull that off in maybe a little bit shorter time, but... Alright, so got some kind of a... Uh, grenadier weapon. A bond of steel. Or a bond for steel. Luf, Stalshrot! Are you alright? I'm fine, but this scrap metal man is hurt really bad. They'll put me back together. They always do. Not that I asked for it. I just wanted to die in peace. But for once, it doesn't feel half bad. Luf. B what is it? Thanks for the pep talk. You said you'd be sad if I died. That made me feel happy. And I feel pride saving the life of a friend. Been a long time since I felt anything at all. Oh my! I can't remember the last time I saw you smile. I'm so glad. Your body may be metal, but you're human at heart. Maybe. And what about you, Liv? Have you gotten over your people problems? Now that you mention it, I think I have. Thank you for looking out for us, Marie. Don't mention it. You're my crew, which makes you family. And that's what family's for. If you ever need to talk, I'm here for you. Don't be afraid to open up to me, okay? Alright, so that's their story. Days later. Oh, no, still going. Never mind. Um, guys, what's going on over there? You there, Maggot. Yes, ma'am. How can I help? You look like crap. Go take a long walk off a short plank. <laughs> You're not looking well. Why don't you take a break? <laughs> My apologies. Huh. See that, Stallshrot? I got over my social anxiety. Nailed it. You're a people person now. Good work, Luf. <laughs> Alright. Now it's your turn to make a friend. Luf and Stalsrod are scaring the pants off of anyone who walks by. What did you do to them, Marie? Oh dear. Those two are hopeless. At least they've got each other now. It's kind of adorable. Okay, so... <laughs> sure. Headquarters has decorated you with this medal. <coughs> I got a medal for what? <coughs> Excellence and teamwork. Alright. So Death Seeker has changed the flicker of emotion. And poor phrasing has changed the self-expression. Personnel. Alright, cool. Alright, so when we return, we will be doing a chivalrous heart. Which uh, looks like it's going to be about Minerva and uh, Crystal. So, when we, like I said, when we return, we'll be doing this one. Till then, I'm Renegade Gamer. Y'all take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.